Donald Brower has left the announce area and has gone to ringside to pick up a microphone. Let's listen in and see what he has to say about this. Yeah, I, I was going to make you defend this in a handicap match. Your partner had no, no, no show this show. However, I decided as a personal gratitude to you for all your fine service defending America. I have granted you a partner of my choosing. Would you like to know that part? Are you kidding me? Donald Brower has just inserted himself into the match as Solitude's partner, taking on his own Brower Enterprises men, Pete and Paul Nixon, the repeat offenders. This is a double dose of bad news for Solitude. First, his partner Darkstar is in a mysterious motorcycle accident, and then now he has Don Brower, a man who he hates more than life itself, inserting himself as his tag team partner. I'll have to correct you there, Matthias Wallace. Donald Brower, as I was corrected earlier. The repeat offenders, of course, get the early offense in. We're going to have to see how this match shapes up with Solitude taking on what has to be considered three men in this match. Able to get a quick DDT in on the repeat offenders. Paul Nixon on the mat right now as Solitude looks like he's in control right now. Picks him up. Looks like he's twisting his arm, just putting all the torque on that shoulder and a quick shot and another to the back of the shoulder of Paul Nixon. Solitude, even though the odds are not in his favor, he will not go down without a fight. I have seen this man fight and he is not one to say I quit. He is going to go everything he has, 100% and oh, a kick by Pete Nixon. Even when the odds are in their favor, the repeat offenders and Donald Brower Enterprises can't play by the rules. Well, Brower, we're going to be seeing more of this from him, you have to expect. Nixon with the cover and a one, two. Is this going to be over early? No. Solitude able to kick out. He's just being blatantly choked by Paul Nixon. Brower comes over, of course, to tell the referee that uh, he's missing something. Making sure that he checks the turnbuckle out. And if as this match could not get sick enough for the fans and for my own stomach, there we see that leech, that worm, Lord Biscuit O'Donnell at ringside again, waving the Union Jack. How much more is Solitude going to have to face? And here we see another count. One. Aw, oh, and he pulls him up. They want to inflict more punishment on him. Get someone else back there from the locker room to help out Solitude. I don't care who it is. Solitude is just taking shot after shot. Right now, going against two men with a third against him on his own team. You just don't think he's got to have much of a chance in this match. Plus, O'Donnell at ringside. This is just too much for one man to handle. Solitude with a desperation shot to the gut of Pete Nixon and a headbutt for his trouble. Solitude is reeling right now on his knees on the mat and a huge chop sends him down flat on his back. Looking for a tag, but I have to say that that's got to be a bad idea. Tagging in a man who is the head of the repeat offenders, the head of Brower Enterprises, the man who's supposed to be his tag team partner. Pete Nixon looks like he's taunting Solitude now, reaching his hand out and up and over with a suplex. Is he going to be going for a cover here? Let me just point out, MC Hill, that this match would not be valid by any championship committee even though Donald Brower is on the championship committee, you cannot have one team who are already the champions defend the title with a substitute partner. And there goes an elbow drop. Shades of Demolition and the Hart Foundation. Going for applause. They won't get any. One, two, and all that you get was a two count for your trouble, Nixon. And a kick out by Solitude, only a two count. Donald Brower not happy with the count. Solitude just taking more shots from Paul. Kicks and clubbing blows to the back. Another desperation fist by Solitude trying to fight his way to his feet and a rake to the eyes by Paul Nixon. Paul and Pete Nixon, repeat offenders, trying to distract the referee while Donald Brower has his way with Solitude.
Brower making sure he goes around the ring to get a close eye on the action. A solitude is just being choked out by the ropes and a thumb to the eye from O'Donnell. How much can Solitude possibly take? His own partner is just choking the life out of him right now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stand Donald Brower being backed by this announce booth with us. What kind of man is on such a power trip that he will just insert himself into every match, whether it's one of him or his entourage, making sure he gets his way at this card that should be a historic night for the UPWA. And then the Nixons, the repeat offenders, are just maiming Solitude in the corner. O'Donnell causing some more distraction to the referee while the Nixons have their way with Solitude and a huge double team move, a splash and leg drop by the repeat offenders. Solitude, that's got to be it for him. One, two, and he picks his head up. Pete Nixon not quite ready to have the match ended yet. He wants to inflict some more punishment on the poor man Solitude. He's being choked mercilessly. Not only is he being choked, MC Hill, but he is being distracted. The referee, Warren Kennedy, is being distracted by Brower as that chokehold must have gone on for at least 10 seconds. Not only are they beating the man within an inch of his life, they are cutting short his air supply. Now more illegal tax being used as his being choked on the ring rope. Well, Pete and Paul, the repeat offenders, the Nixon brothers in full control of this match right now. Solitude just hung up on the turnbuckle, trying to fight his way to his feet, and he goes down again, a huge clubbing blow to his back. Head into the turnbuckle by Solitude. He got his bell rung there. Solitude being whipped into the opposite corner. Gains up ahead of steam and a huge miss by Pete Nixon. Solitude able to get out of the way and a roll up. One, and he's only able to keep him down for a one count. The big man, Pete Nixon, just proved to be too much to keep down by Solitude. Did you see that? I think Don Brown just took the referee and shoved him, interrupting the count. I think Solitude had Nixon down for the three count. But no, here comes even more illegal tactics, more double team moves. Who does Solitude have? If Darkstar was here, this match would have been over five minutes ago. Well, it's effectively a two-on-one match. Solitude cannot go for a tag. His own tag team partner is the manager of Brower Enterprises. He is the head of the team that manages the repeat offenders. So there is just no way that he can actually even go for a tag. But look, he's actually able to manage a little bit of offense himself. There's quick lefts and rights to the gut of Paul Nixon and drops a knee into the midsection. David Brower comes in looking for a tag, but there's no way Solitude is going to be falling for that. Solitude picks him up and slams him down onto the mat. Solitude still working up his offense. Thrown right head first into the turnbuckle. There, punch him, punch him. Throw him in, and another head smash into the turnbuckle. Solitude still saying he won't go down. Oh, giving Brower the warning. You better not get involved in this match. Solitude warning his faithful partner, the man who's thrown himself in. Watch out, Nixon from, oh, a low blow. One thing that I have to say I'm a little surprised at is O'Donnell has not inserted himself into this match too much, but I guess he figures with both of the repeat offenders plus Donald Brower going against Solitude, what more does he possibly need to do? Irish Whip, a huge double team move, miss with a clothesline, and a double clothesline by Solitude onto both of the repeat offenders, Pete and Paul Nixon. Well, having said that, I just finished saying O'Donnell not getting involved in the match, and there he is up on the ring apron. Brower with a steel chair looks, to, oh, into the back of Solitude, a huge shot. Pete Nixon up, and a huge double team move by the repeat offenders. That's got to be it for Solitude. One, two, and three. That's it. Huge repeat offenders, double team move. Unbelievable. Your new tag team champions, the repeat offenders. As with any tag team victory, it was a team effort. In this case, that's an understatement, MC Hale. Why don't they just give the belts to all four men? A tag team effort usually are you're talking about two men. In this case, all four. O'Donnell with two flags in the middle of the ring. What's he doing here? 
Just laying a flag on top of him. Just a disrespect being shown by the repeat offenders and by O'Donnell himself spitting. Holding the flag just out of reach of solitude, taunting him with the Union Jack getting kicks from Donald Brower. Just a complete disgrace. <laughs> 